Hello guys, uh, so on my table I have got three things to do. One is um, Macbook Air 2017, uh, no backlight, turning on. Macbook Pro 2015, same problem, no backlight. And uh, this is iPad seven generation problem is we have to remove the NAND, reprogram it and install it because uh, it's giving the NAND data. So I will start with the easiest one which is A1466. So this one um, it's always um, backlight IC. So most m mostly it's backlight IC. So I have done so many of these that I remember by heart. You check the fuse, you check this diode. If it's not that, you come back here. So have a look under the microscope, huh? So that's the backlight I see, as you can see, and um, the whole board is clean. It's just that um, always this is moisture damage. Does the IC looks okay and it's just that uh, yeah to me maybe we don't have to replace the backlight we will see we will see okay let's give it a clean first huh? oh, I ran out of isopropyl oh, now we have got a little bit <laughs> okay, it looks like to me the ICs should be okay. It's just these resistor here, resistor here, resistor here, and resist these all resistor. Okay, I think we should remove them, huh? Okay, let's remove the IC as well. You know, you never know if because of those components. The IC is gone as well. I don't want customer to come back. Let's clean this whole area. I hope pads are in, intact. They look okay. just that this one has got little bit of oxidation see here we can scratch and tint and should be okay after that and this one here and this one looks like intact 
Yeah. I'm just wondering so that I can check this one which is little bit looks like maybe so if I go back yeah where is it which way is it there's this way and yep yeah, here yeah. this one no this one here so the one on the top which is this one and is this ground hello dear so this is ground and now that should be okay all right come back now we are going to tint this bed first we are going to put this resistor and then i see okay just a little bit of flux <coughs> yeah when there is an oxidation you know it's hard to put solder on the tips okay come on yep enough so this is the donor board and we will remove what we need from here which is um, these four resistor I think they should be of same value most probably yes but anyway I will remove them and then I will put them in the same sequence just in case you know number one number two Come on, go. Number three. And number four. Okay, now we will put them same way where they belong number one I'm so happy you haven't lost any of these today and they usually fly away here where is the last one here Well done, they are behaving today, they are not flying away, huh? Good. Done. I will do just one side because when I will be putting the IC these will settle. Okay, that's enough. They will settle down. 
now I will get the new IC just a little bit more here okay okay there's the new IC it here and yeah look like it's settled down and oh come on okay let it cool down now Better. Okay, that's all good. I hope this is intact. Yep, looks all good. And there's our donut board. Where is the fan? Okay. Do we need a fan to quickly check? Now we will just check if we have got the display. Okay. Where is the cable just in front of me? Okay. okay, let's connect the battery and the charger. Ah, there's Type C. That's the correct one. Okay. giving me any display yeah you gave me a display Hi. so this one is fixed okay just want to see yep that's all done okay now that this one second one is uh, 82049 I think the board number MacBook uh, Pro 2015 very common problem on these is uh, so this is how we received it so I have to check uh, if it's turning on or not we will check it on DC power supply huh so I will bring the power supply so that you can see yeah so I have to check you know we don't know we have been told there is no display so anyway okay connecting the power supply and as you can see it's turning on fine now the next thing is we have to check if we have got 3.3 volt on backlight as far as I remember 3.3 volt here Okay, I will get you under the microscope. Okay, 
this is 3.3 line uh, okay let's check zero here zero here zero here and then this is connected to zero here that's the inductor and then this is connected here and most of the time this is um, I will show you um, on the board view huh usually this I see here that's the problem okay so yeah here okay so this is our I remember by heart see these three line is sorry yeah three three point three switch LCD and these are connected to this inductor here and then other and here and we have already tested here usually this is faulty U8300 which maybe you can see in my previous video as well and we should have let's come back to microscope okay here we should have 3 volt here nah we don't what this time it's different man usually we have to replace U8300 which is usually faulty but it's not I don't see any 3.3 here so let me show you here okay zero volt here then we will go back oh I thought that's easy it's not anyway so let's go back here again look at the diagram so U8300 we do not have okay where this is getting 3.3 .3. yeah this is the EDP panel power where this is connected to now where it's getting power from yeah okay from my previous repairs I remember U7700 which is this one here backlight signal okay backlight switch so this is where we have to look <coughs> if we can find <coughs> measure the <coughs> voltage around this IC so we'll come back here again under the microscope <coughs> so we were checking here and we have to go back and you find U7700 yeah that's the one what is it here do you see okay nothing sort of dust okay let's check for any <coughs> short Yeah, and look here. It looks like blown. There's the fuse. Is it blown? <laughs> okay, let's check what it is. So we will come back to the board view again. Yeah, this is F7700 PP bus G3 hot. So that means there is no power going to U7700. Is it? Really? 
Okay. Let's check what we have got here. Okay. Let's come back here. I'm connecting the here and come back here. That means this is G3 hot which is present 12.5 oh. and here we have got nothing okay let's show you here so this is uh, the FL7700 C this is on G3 hot this is new so I will find a fuse, replace the fuse and we should sort the problem. So first we will be removing from this board here. Okay, now I will get one from the donor board which is here. And this U7700 already been used on this one okay and after that we have got a iPad which most probably I will be doing in my next video not now not now Come on, go. Okay. Don't fly away. Come on, go down. Isn't it happens to everyone? You know, one side is goes up. Then they try to stand up rather than sitting. Okay. Now the first thing we have to check if U7700 is getting the power from G3 hot, which is this is G3 hot side and this is the other side here, yeah. as you can see. Oh. Yeah, come on. All right. Okay, and now the next thing is we have to check if we have got 3.35 volt here on the backlight display. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, got five here, five here, five here. So that's all done. We just received this board. We do not have the LCD, so we will send it back like this. So thank you very much for watching. See you in next video. Bye.